Hi, this is Gil Balfour. Thanks for coming in and checking out this video. Um, Happy New Year! I took my dog for a walk, so I'm just going to walk and talk here for, for a while. So stay with me. Um, yeah, so how was your night? Was it good? Did you have a good uh, night last night? I, um, I had a good, great night with the family. Um, we had a party. We watched some fireworks and uh, my daughter um, had loads of fun and uh, that's always the main thing when it comes to my social occasions. But we got up this morning and went to the beach. It was fantastic. Beautiful day at the beach. Um, Sydney's a great place to be in January. Um, yeah, but look, I was just looking at my goals and just trying to set some goals for um, 2016. And I'm thinking, what am I going to do? Well, oh, I've just dropped my keys. Hang on a bit. My keys. I'm going to have a little bag here in case the, the dog, the doggy, in case the doggy does a poo and needs, I need to pick up his, his poo. Anyway, responsible dog ownership. So I was looking at my goals for 2016 and I, I guess you're probably doing something the same. You know, thinking about what am I going to, what do I want to achieve from 2016 um, and maybe sharing that with your friends and family or maybe not, maybe keeping it to yourself, thinking, conspiring about what you're going to do. Well, I just wanted to share you with my my uh, thoughts about uh, New Year's resolutions. Um, I've never set a New Year's resolution and succeeded in um, pulling it off or achieving it or anything like that. So um, I'm not setting a New Year's resolution this year. What I'm doing is um, I'm doing a series of 30-day challenges. Um, and so my first challenge um, will be regarding... Um, uh, early morning routine that I'm going to do. I'm going to be getting up at six o'clock in the morning every morning, which is hard for me because I'm a bit of a night owl. So I'm beginning up at six o'clock in the morning and I'll be visualizing my goals, visualizing my dreams. And at the moment, my dream is to uh, to grow my um, my members up to 100. Um, so at the moment, I, it's sitting at 50 and I want to grow it up to 100. And as well as that, um, I have some acting goals as well because I, I run my two businesses, my internet marketing business, my digital lifestyle business, and my acting career. So um, that's, my, that's what I'm going to be doing for the next 30 days. But the reason why I wanted to share with you, you okay, Pooch? The reason why I wanted to share with you um, why this is so good to go for 30 day challenges rather than for like a resolution this is going to change my life is because it's just look you know if you set for something for new year's resolutions how are you going to stick to something for 12 months it's too hard people can't do it what you should do is set up little challenges of 30 days where you've got to do something every day for 30 days and then achieve that that's achievable people can do that coming into some People here, people didn't used to live here, now they've moved in. It's all these housing, it used to be just like uh, an abandoned railway yards, and now it's got housing everywhere. But anyway, um, progress. Um, yeah, so if you set up little 30 day challenges for yourself, you can build, they're long enough to build habits, and they're short enough to be achievable, you see. Now, problem most people have is setting up challenges which just they never get or goals which just never get achieved you know they overextend themselves they over um, budget what they can what they can do you know because they don't really they don't really um, set goals for themselves regularly and tick them off um, it takes a lot of discipline it takes a lot of willpower so um, I know myself, I've wanted to be successful for a long time and, and I've only started to move recently into the direction of what I've wanted because, um, because of these 30 day challenges. Because um, I've always actually lacked the discipline. And it's not because I didn't want to be disciplined. It's not because I didn't want to be, I did want to be disciplined. But I didn't have a framework. I'd always overextend myself. I'd go, oh, I can do this, I can do that. And then I'd overthink things and I'd never follow through. I'd live in denial. And, um, and I'm going to uh, start this um, tomorrow. So it's not like it has to start on the 1st of January or, anything, or the 1st of every month. It's just whenever I start them, I'll start them. And I may actually have a week off after every challenge 
when that's done, just to recuperate and do what I feel like, just to reward myself, and then get back onto another 30 day challenge. So that's, that's kind of how I'm going to live 2016. And I feel now that all I need is one really good year, one great year, and my life will be in a different place altogether, in a very different place. Um, and that is mainly because um, I won't have to do anything I don't want to do to earn a living. You see, the thing about having a digital lifestyle business, carriage works over there, the thing about having a digital lifestyle business is that um, you can work on the internet and you uh, can employ yourself um, working from a laptop and an internet connection and not be reliant on anyone else. I don't know about you, but that's just heaven to me. It's heaven. I'm sick of having to, um, you know, try and fit in with, with some corporate rat race, which doesn't work for me anyway, um, because I'm an actor. And not only that, um, teaching is, is what I've done for a long time, uh, working as a school teacher. And I am a good school teacher. The kids love me, you know, and I like teaching. But I can't deal with the, all the paperwork and the rubbish that you got to do. You could, it, the, the accountability is just crazy at the moment. It's really, really crazy. The amount of accountability you need uh, to be a school teacher is just off the charts. You're turning, it's turning you into administrator rather than um, a school teacher. There's the doggy looking for adventure. Um, yeah, so that's why I went out and that's why I've chosen to um, build my own business online. Um, and the Six Figure Mentors who I'm learning from, the SFM, has set up this wonderful platform for me where I can learn all the skills and, 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 all the, and build all the websites and learn all the advertising and doing all of that where I can sit there and I can advertise to, to people that I don't know but people that are targeted and I can communicate to them and sell stuff to them which they are interested in because they've been targeted it's not I'm not like I'm trying to sell to my friends or building a business around my friends or family or you know um, which I just would never do which just wouldn't suit me at all um, but instead of that I'm building a, a business online which potentially I can sell to the whole world you know so and I can do that while still be being um, an actor so that's what I want to do. Now you may not want to be an actor because I know not everyone on my list are aspiring actors, but you may want to spend more time with your family. You may want to spend more time with your dog. That's my doggy. Teddy, come here. Hello, hello, say hello. Right, you may want to spend more time with your doggy. You may want to spend more time with your girlfriend. You may want to spend more time traveling. You may want to spend more time painting. You may want to spend more time building up your stamp collection. I don't know. Whatever it is, whatever it is you want to do, a digital lifestyle business can enable it. We have people in our community that are, there's a couple which are ex-accountants and they're, um, they travel the world. They're just traveling, constantly, constantly traveling. and. Um, then we've got um, another good friend of mine who's uh, in his 50s and he stays home with his mum who has dementia because he wants to look after him. He doesn't want to go work at a job, right? But he makes enough money to, um, to work from home and live a very nice lifestyle in, in London. Um, you know, so it's whatever you want to do. This is the wonderful thing about um, the, the SFM is that you can build a business around your passions, around your interests. Maybe your interest is going to weird, strange places and taking selfies and doing artistic photographs. Where are you, Ted? Yeah, okay, we're gonna go walking now. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up and I just wanted to say that um, happy 2016 to everyone. I hope it is a happy year for you and I hope you had a wonderful night last night and having a good day today. And um, you can respond to this email, send me a message if you wanna learn more about uh, having a digital lifestyle business. Um, I will be sending you emails regarding this. I'll be sending you emails regarding internet marketing. Um, and if that doesn't appeal to you, please feel free to unsubscribe at the bottom of the email. Um, but if you want to stay with me 
and find out more about my journey towards total and financial freedom with an inset marketing business, stay with it. And, um, and stay with uh, um, my YouTube channel, Gil Balfour's YouTube channel, and keep watch, keeping a lookout for me. Okay, I've got to go. The dog is crying for a walk. But all the best, and um, yeah, talk to you soon.